charming MC and I've just been upstaged on the first step, so, you know, whatever. Uh, can I get a round of applause for Joe and the entire venue, please? Sure. Out there who's thinking about doing something, this might be the place to do it. It's pretty beautiful up here. I don't it? fuck up with the toilet paper. Yeah, don't fuck up with the toilet paper, as Grant McCacken so wisely says, which is a sentence I've not said out loud very often. Uh, what Grant McCracken? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Anthony O'Sullivan, and we are here in celebration uh, of the life of Shelton Lee. So, a round of applause to Shelton Lee. I'm not going to prattle on too much because those of you in the room who knew Shelton would know that, that was one of his major bugbears was that people would get up to read a poem that ended up being a haiku and spend four minutes explaining why the haiku had to be written. Does everyone know where the smoking section is and where to buy more beer? Yes. More importantly, does everyone know where to buy me beer if I run out of anybody? You won't run out. No one cares. I've got two lined up. Yeah, I'm an Irishman. I, that's, that's like half an hour for me and I'm done. So we're going to start by having two of our feature performers and then we're going to do some of the open mics. Does that sound good? Everyone say yes. Thank God we're all in agreement on one thing. Okay, good. So, uh, Peter, are you ready? Yes. Peter is right next to me. Stand up on set. Please welcome with a round of applause, fresh off his Dan feature, which was spectacular, the very talented and amazing Peter Tien. Yay! I am going to try and be fairly brief because uh, we want as many people to read and I'm sure Shelley would himself. He said to Lise uh, when he was dying, don't turn anyone away. So he was a pretty inclusive guy. Um, I'm going to start with uh, reading a poem of Shelton's. It's, uh, called, it's from uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. It's called uh, uh, Myrna Loy, an old very old actress who uh, I think died before many of us were even around but uh, uh, Shelley loved uh, loved old times it's called Myrna Lawyer it's the enchantment of your farewells your entrance through the back doors as if you were coming through forwards I can remember as a kid walking backwards into a theatre to see Myrna Loy and getting sprung in the process, coming forwards, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in this book uh, called uh, All Travellers We, which is um, the name of one of Shelley's poems, uh, uh, it's uh, with, uh, you know, poets um, and it's in dedication and memory of Shelley and uh, one of my poems was uh, Dancing Shelton and Myrna. Projection light, ack ax off the mirror ball, palace dancing mausoleum, boards that roared with jaffers already in the wreckers yard, but practicing with their feet, Bodgy, an Indian scout mate, where only Bones boys sings the chorus line. Under the exit light, without a ticket, palming a lighted cigarette, he dances to her, forwards, backwards, sky breaking in through the walls. And this book is... Um, called uh, one of Shelton's books called Palantine Madonna. I went to the <laughs> launch of this at a place called uh, Marijuana House. <laughs> it was, uh, and yeah, it was appropriate to the name. Every, everyone was in one form or another out of it, including Shelton, of course. And uh, <laughs> it was, you know, there were lots of intros like this evening. And uh, Shelley came up to me and sort of because he, he, he just kind of wasn't there. And he said to me, C can you read this poem for me, Freddie, when they call me up? And uh, uh, I, I didn't, because I didn't think it was right, and he eventually pulled himself together and he did read it. But, uh, but now, Shelley, and it's a poem I very much love, uh, The Valentine Madonna, for a street walker I loved. 
the Palantine Madonna Lady leers at the empty afternoons, leans forwards towards the emptiness of empty streets, peeking at the faces in the half-bright dawns, swooning over children, sneering at the half-cut tender lawns. O oh, Palantine Madonna Lady, come and take my heart. You can see how sad it's made me, and I want another start. Fingers dance like quick stick insects across the fretted calm. The lady dances quick step across a pockmarked arm. Her eyes like gathered butterflies sense the coming storm of flesh as slow expanding cells are blessed with snow. The Palantine Madonna lady spies from behind her smile her lover's heart that has lost its guile and her lover's soul. O oh, Palantine Madonna lady, come and take my heart. You can see how sad it's made me and I want another start. The Palantine Madonna lady gives us with a sweet caress the spectre of a daunted moon, the mysteries of loneliness and the delicate fragrance of fading blooms wafts from the bodice of her dress. O oh, Palantine Madonna Lady, come and take my heart. You can see how sad it's made me, and I want another start. And the lady has fated in the afternoons, my friends and I, and I have spent time with her in the lunacy of a lover's eyes. She walks from the gardens cool and refreshed, as if all our sins expiate the enormity of her whims and she is pristine, remorseless, and blessed. Yeah. 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 Yeah.